we're live with Archie Luxury and we've got Clyde. Clyde, I've been wanting to do this video for a while. And <coughs> I want to talk to you about the greatest watch collection of all time. I thought we were talking about yours. <laughs> greatest. I honestly love this collection. I love my collection. And that, that's partly why I've withdrawn it from sale because I don't think I could put five pieces together better than this. Now, let me tell you the rules. Okay. Can I tell you the rules first, Clyde? All right. I prefer the rules to be are... called Clivey. Sorry? I prefer to be called Clivey. Clivey, okay. Yeah, Clivey. you've called me Clive for so often. I'm kind of getting used to it, actually. It's... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Number one, one brand per watch. So that okay. means no two Rolexes, no two Pateks, one brand per watch. Okay. Number two. Each watch needs to be a little bit different. So we can't have, they're not all divers, they're not all GMTs, they've got their own uniqueness. Okay, because okay. we want a balanced collection. The thing that all us horological people are searching for is balance, a balanced collection. Which means the sum of the parts is more than the individual components itself. Okay. Oh, I thought you were singing, I thought you were seeking to bring balance to the farce. Yes. Now, the next thing is, the third rule is, okay, so we've got one brand per watch. They've got to have some sort of purpose and meaning. Diversification. I like the art, by the way. Yes. National Geographic, 1975, I believe. No, I thought it was the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> okay. Um, now, the other rule is, the other rule is, Clyde, the other rule is here, right? Because we're all about rules. We like rules because that's just <laughs> how it is. We like to have, we like to be, we like to have some balance and some some reasons for being. Now, I'm going to tell you this nicely, and you you can tell me what you think, right? Yeah. The other rule is is that the collection itself, <coughs> the pieces in my collection itself. Now, this is a hard one to say because I know there's so many people out there who, you know, you've got to have a budget because otherwise it goes crazy. You understand, don't you? Yeah. So my watch collection itself there, it needs to be capped at about 35,000 US dollars. Okay. You mean real dollars? Yep. Not these Aussie peso crap, you know? Yeah. Not but what I, I seek loans in, okay? I wanted 35 is the max because I think in America, right? Yeah. 35,000 gets you a very decent car, doesn't it? Yeah, actually. It does. What do you think? Absolutely. Of course, my part of the country, everyone likes trucks and SUVs. Oh, I see. Trucks and SUVs. Good point. Right. Very quite good handy. point. Quite handy for hauling cattle and other horned animals. You know, goats. That sort of thing. I see. There's a lot of good there's a lot of good SUVs under 35,000 in America. Let me tell you. Okay, Tons. It's, it's, there is the the Ford um, there is uh there's the Jeep Wrangler that's 26,000. Right? Um, Chevy Equinox 22,000. Right? That's not a good car is it the Chevy? No. No, it's yeah. It's the Dodge more of a, Durango. That's thirty-one. No. The Ford Edge is twenty-eight. Yeah. Oh, um, by the way, have you ever played the anal game on car trips? Jeep Cherokee is twenty-nine nine nine five. No, it's a serious question. No, no, you're no, going, no. Okay, when you're driving around, whoever spots a car. 
you have to replace, you know, the, the make and the model of a car. You have to replace the make of the card with the word anal. Mm -hmm. and, and it has to fit with the model of the car as well. So, for instance, you're driving along and someone looks, there's a Ford Explorer. Ah, anal Explorer. Okay, they get a point. But they have to, it has to match. It's really addictive. You need to try it, even with the kids in the car, assuming they're like over okay. nine or whatever. Anyway, go yeah. ahead. Okay, okay. So anyhow, Clyde, thirty-five thousand U.S. dollars is uh, to give you an idea. An Audi A3 in America is thirty-one, thirty-two thousand. Okay, that's quite a nice car. The BMW 2 Series, thirty, thirty, thirty-three, thirty-five thousand dollar mark. A Chevrolet Impala is twenty-eight thousand. Yeah. The Chrysler 200 is 22, so 35,000 for a watch collection. That's the Ford Mustang. It starts at 25, <clears throat> and that's with a six banger, but it's a decent six banger. Mercedes CLA starts at 32. Okay, so let's let's okay. We've spoken enough about okay. So next, now let's have a look at the collection. Clyde, let's get straight into it now. No more mucking around with your nonsense on my channel. <coughs> Watch number one. We're going to call up here. Let's talk. Let's go straight to the the absolutely high end for Clyde. Absolutely high end for you, Clyde. This is oh, this is what we want to talk about. Absolute high end. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm going to bring up here in a minute. You know what's going to appear on your screen. You know it. And there it is now. What do you think? Tell me what you think, honestly. <clears throat> I do like the guillotine on the center, but unless you travel all over the place, I mean, like I said, I'm getting older. So mm -hmm. the actual the actual time part is just so tiny compared to the rest of the watch. Um, I think it's I guess it's nice. I'd almost. What's wrong with the Calatrava? Calatrava is for nothing wrong with the Calatrava, but this is just a it's a complicated Patek. There's nothing wrong with the Calatrava at all. Look at that dial, Clyde. It is a nice dial. Your pictures have really stepped up lately. I've noticed that. What do you think? What do you think? This this, this is a paddock. Look, there's nothing wrong with the Calatrava. Calat I can't criticize the Calatrava. It's a great piece. This just came up at the right time, okay? I, I, I wasn't necessarily looking for a world time, but it was always... This is like saying, okay, what's wrong with the, the six pot, but why don't we get the eight? We're talking Mustangs before. Why don't we get the eight? What do you think? I like the, I mean, I like the white gold yeah. better. I like, I like the white gold better. I like the um, yeah. sub better. Um, okay. Now, that's fine. You, you, Clyde, I want, I want critical comment. Now, the interesting thing is, you know, I actually prefer the yellow gold one better. But <clears throat> I, I get what you're saying. The thing I wanted to say to you is, Clyde, I want to I want to tell you this, is that the reason I love the yellow gold one, now you, you may not understand this, Clyde, because you know, um <clears throat> it's it it's it, it's a it's a it's a little bit hard for me to explain this because it's 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 um Clyde, look at this. Polysyllabic. I want to show you something, okay? I'm going to show it to you now. I'm going to show it. I'm going to share this with you on the channel, okay? I'm going to show it, share this with you. Just hang on. Just bear with me. Bear with me, big boy. Have a look at this. See this vintage world time? Yeah. When I wear the yellow gold one, it reminds me of this beautiful vintage world time because that's that was the one from the 1960s these sell for over a million dollars apparently crazy money and 
<clears throat> that's the thing I love about mine is that it is so cool. Uh, but I, I agree with you. You you are free to tell me you prefer the other one. That's Clyde. That is that is not a problem. I I completely I I hear where you're coming from, and uh, in many ways, you might be right, Clyde. You might, in fact, be right. You're right. You're right. It is. It is a. Let me just bring that one up for you. That's the white gold one, Clyde. What do you think of that one? Is that's the one you love? Is it uh, understated? It's it's classy, but it's understated. <clears throat> I do miss it. I miss it. I miss it every day. I do. I do. But I got the yellow one. Beggars can't be choosers. Would you believe I actually paid more for the yellow gold one than the white gold one? Yes. It's funny. The yellow gold one is not worth as much as the white gold, but so what do you think of my yellow gold paddock? I just want to ask you, what do you think? Seriously, no bullshit. St stop the slagging match. Tell me honestly, what do you think of the world time? I think it's the greatest. I personally think it's one of the all time paddock classics. It is one of the greatest watches the mark has ever made. And I got to tell you, in all honesty, Clyde, I cut my hand off with an industrial saw to keep it, Clyde. Is there anything else you would cut off with an industrial saw to keep it? Because we are we could be talking fundraising options here. Yep, crowdfunding. Crowdfunding, Clyde, crowdfunding. I would possibly I, cut, cut off a small toe. I wasn't thinking that, actually, but okay. Okay. Um, Okay. Well, anyhow, what do you think? Tell me, tell me what the good, the bad, the ugly. Do you know this watch doesn't have a second hand? Yes, I can see that. I can see it doesn't. It and also doesn't no have date. a date. Yes. So that would piss you off, of course. No, not really. I have a couple of watches with no date. The, how, about, how about the no second hand? I've got the base zero. Oh, ah, very interesting. Date. Okay. Look, I, I, I really... However, the base zero presumes you're smart enough to know what city you're in. Mm. Like, I know where you are, Clyde. I know it's about 7 o'clock at night. 8 o'clock, nearly 8 o'clock in your part oh, okay. of the world. Is that right or wrong? That's correct, but well, we covered that last time because the uh, world time didn't take into account um, daylight saving. Daylight time. saving. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I think it's I think it's a beautiful watch. I think it really is a beautiful watch. I think it's 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 paddock. Really, I love the crown guards. What do you think of the crown guards? Yes, no. You just be honest. Be honest. Don't just lick my ass. Tell me what you think. No. Do you like the crown guards or not? I think I think it's kind of gimmicky, quite frankly. What's that? The um, crown guards? No, just the concept of the watch. The fact that the actual watch part is such a small area of the watch. I mean, couldn't they make the hands bigger? Uh, you're telling the story, Clyde. I, no, I, I that's think what I'm asking. Could they, could they make the hands bigger? It's, it seems like the part that actually tells the time is... Mm. Like what, half the area of the watch? But there's two and ways the to tell the time. You understand this. Like you look at that chapter ring. See this inner chapter ring where it says Sydney. That also tells you the time by just looking at that dial. It tells you the time everywhere in the world. Mm. So it's the hands, but the hands have to be small. Otherwise, you wouldn't see what time it is in my part of the world. Do you understand? So if the hands were bigger, you couldn't tell where it actually, if the hands actually went through the well, four, you wouldn't be able to tell it's through the four? You don't, well, it's just how it was designed. It's, it's classic. It's a grand classic from Patek Philippe. It's a grand okay. classic. Okay. All right, it's up to you. You tell me. What do you think? Is it worth twenty two that these are going for twenty two to twenty five thousand US dollars? Would you pay that? Yes or no? Yes, no. 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 Can you see twenty thousand US dollars in it or not really? Could I see twenty thousand dollars in it? 
Uh, Tough, see, because this is a man. and like I said, I, my own thing is I'm splashing around in the kitty end of the pool. I'm in the shallow water. I'm in the I mean the Rolex. Rolex. Exactly. Now, yeah, I, I'm not more of the deep end of the Haraji pool like you and Mister Patek. Yes, that's a scary end to be in. That's with the black. You don't know where the bottom. Your toes don't touch the bottom. But and there's there's. There's, you know, you got to be careful. Now, seriously, that Patek there, do, can you see? I actually think it's probably, if I only had one Patek, this could be it. Beautiful, high-end watch. I'm happy. Okay? Okay. Is that okay? It's okay that you're happy, yeah. I mean, it's nice. Would it be the first one I would go for? Probably not. But then again, then but then again, I okay. Let's be honest, shall we? Be honest. Sure. Yeah, be honest. Be honest. You never bring up any other Pateks, hardly. You know, we hear about the world time all the time. You know, we hear if you we go back in the channel, we hear a little bit about the Caltrava, but it's whatever I own at the time. That's the way I am. I'm self interested. I'm narcissistic. Okay, I'm a narcissistic character. But on the other hand, to explain how this one is better than all the other Pateks. Wouldn't it help to explain what the other Pateks actually are? No, the other Pateks are great. There's nothing nothing to say this is the best Patek. It's not the best Patek. But it's not uh, the worst. What, what, Sorry? Is the best what is the best Patek then? Oh, that's simple. Perpetual calendar chronograph. Okay. Okay. But this here, <laughs> as a standalone piece, it's simple, but it's a complication. It's a world time. This is the ultimate world time. And out of all the complications, I think it's useful because you can tell the time around the world. It's just just such a beautiful piece, Clyde. I love it. I absolutely love this watch. This watch, I really do love it. I, I do love it. I love my paddock. I do love my paddock. Yes. Yes, I love my paddock. Okay? Okay. Out of 10, what would you give this watch? Tell me seriously. You could you, you give me a scoring. I would say out of 10, this watch here, I would give it an 8.5. 8.5? Eight and eight and <clears throat> Let me tell you. 8.5, the positives is I love the yellow gold. I think that is a great metal. If you don't have the platinum, the yellow gold is very good. I like the rose gold and I like the white gold. I think this watch here, good size, 37 mil. A little bit small, but not too small. I love the crown guards, very no early noughties. I love just the whole concept of this thing. It's just superb. It's understated. It's elegant. No one knows what the hell it is. I am the greatest YouTube presenter. I am the greatest. I am the greatest, and I need a great wristwatch. And this is equally as good as my status as the ultimate YouTube presenter of choice. What I don't like about this watch, I can tell you. What I don't like about this watch is simple. I think the strap is a little bit tapers in a little bit too small, a little bit too effeminate. A little mm. bit, little bit. Uh, I think it could be. I think thirty-eight mil. The new model is thirty-eight point five. I think that is perfect. But I don't like the lugs and the no crown guards on the new model. The new model is the five two three zero. Bang per buck. This is the greatest world time you can buy. This is the greatest world time bang per buck. I love it. And I hope I keep it. I hope no nasty sniveling shit buys it from me. I really hope I'm stuck with it forever. Okay? What do you okay. think, Clyde? I give it an 8.5. What do you give it? Tell me what you give it, Clyde. Give it to me, big boy. Oh, man, dude. No. Seven. I, I mean, to me, it's just unnecessarily complicated. It seems like a, too much of the watch is being taken up by the world time. It could, I think the date, uh, the the uh, location could be taken up almost like a date window. There could be one window or two windows that, when you click through it, the cities, the time zones would pop up in the window. Okay, I all, understand, all but it, it shows all you all the times out of everywhere in the world. A glance, you can tell the time. Okay. But you're a lawyer, you're a trial lawyer who doesn't travel very far. 
it's completely you don't need this stuff it's not for you Clyde right okay it's not for you I'll let you know this is you would consider this a faggots watch wouldn't you no 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 faggots I love gay me. men I love gay men did you know that I love gay men I have seen that video before I love gay men Wait, am I supposed to be the emperor now? Okay, so this watch out of 10, you give it seven? Yeah. You have said to me, I think this is the holy grail. This is the holy anything. This is the watch I love. I love this watch more than anything on earth. I love this watch more, more than, than your children. Your children? My children disappoint me at times, okay? Okay, so that would be it's yes. different different type of love children look i i do love my children it's a different type of love right it's two different well, things right i tell you one's digital one's analog okay this watch here dress them, dress them in, in the material good sense this is the greatest material good i could ever own this is better than any car i've owned it's better than any girlfriend i've had I love this watch. I really do love this watch. I love this watch. Okay, let me tell you the truth, Clyde. Can I bear the honest truth with you? Yes. I loved my Calatrava. I think this is a step up. I loved my annual calendar. I still think this is a step up. This is the greatest Patek I've ever owned. White gold, yellow gold. I'd be honest with you, if I had a choice now, White gold's more saleable, but yellow gold I like more. It's just my own personal preference. Well, it means we're getting to be old farts. Next watch. Next watch. Okay, Clyde, let's talk next watch, okay? Can we talk next watch? We could talk next watch. Okay, let's do that, Clyde, because I want to bring the viewers interesting content because... This is what they tune in to the Archie Luxury Channel for. So the next one's going to be an absolute surprise, Clyde. It's for the Clyde. Clyde, this is your surprise. This is your life, Clyde. You tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Let me guess. Polar Explorer? I thought you can see it on your screen. Oh, sorry, you can't. No, actually, I can't. So there you go. Now you can. What do you think? I, yes, I could see in the first place. Um... I like the fact that it's square. I like. I do like the complications on it. Um, it's rectangular, Clyde. You're a lawyer, not a mathematician. It's rectangular. Which is a type of square. It's not round. It's not round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't ever right. argue with a lawyer. They will bill you for the time, okay? It doesn't have crown guards. You know, I rang my lawyer up to say Merry Christmas to him. He sent me a six-minute bill. Only six minutes? He must like you. And the point is, and the point is, it doesn't take six minutes, but generally you're working on something else and you have to stop what you're doing, put it aside, run over, grab the file, mentally switch gears, jump into that. In this case, Yuletide festivities. Then end the Yuletide festivities, mentally switch gears, pull the file back, and go again. So six minutes. Actually, the industry standard is 12. Okay. Now, what do you think of this watch? Oh, can you... This is the there? greatest dress watch known to man, Clyde. This is the greatest. This is the greatest. It's a sports... steel. This is the ultimate dress watch. The watch snob said the Reverso is the ultimate dress watch. It's steel, manual wind, on a... You know, this strap is gay... It's gator. This is a gator strap. Shiny black alligator. You know gators? Those yes. bastards bite. You know that? This watch here has an eight-day power reserve. It's got power reserve on the dial, sub-second at five, and a two-disc date system. Did you know that? Two-disc date system. Right. This is absolute I love this watch more than... I love this watch more than my Patek, I think. This is a 9 out of 10, Clyde. And you know the it best does have a nice. It does have a nice retro style to it. However, I do have one question about it. Sure. Fire away, Clyde. Can you source me a white gold one for $3,500? <laughs> <laughs> 
Clyde, I got to tell you, this watch here, that they, they, they are no longer flavor of the month. This is what the clever, this is what someone buys who knows watches, but they've been kicked in the ass because the re re residuals have fallen off. A watch dealer offered a friend of mine. Or is it someone who, or is it someone who knows oh. what they like and they don't give a help? They don't give a who what everyone else thinks. Yeah, oh, no, I think this watch is beautiful. I remember the first time I ever saw it, I said to the guy, I'll give you $1,000 more than you paid for it. He rang me the next day and said, deal. I said, I went to the ATM, got a cash advance on MasterCard at 20%. To, to no, well, I had no choice. I had, I, 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 you did have a choice. You could have said no. But I'm not. I don't. I'm a man of my word. I don't just renege and say, "Oh, I was only bullshitting." That's what all my bullshit dickhead friends who are lending me five grand. They all say, "Oh, if ever you need money, Paul, I'll help you. I'll help you until you actually do need money." That's nice. I mean, if you've got a good deal on it used, it does have kind of an old school flair to it. I have to. I have to admit. I love that watch. That watch is just that just shows that I know what I'm doing. When you look at this watch, it says, "Hey, he might be a nasty, mean. He might be nasty, mean fucker, but that guy, he know. You know what I paid for that watch? I'll tell you what I paid for. I bought it four nine four nine fifty US. That's what I paid can, for. It. But you can source them now for like thirty five, right? No, I can't source them for that price. That's what dealers are paying, but." The client is not necessarily selling. Does that make sense? Yeah, actually, it does. Um, I I think this watch is. If I had to have one watch, I think this is it. I love this watch. Well, and it's it's kind of different from everything else, and that a lot of times it's so different, it's almost eye catching. It's such a cool. Now I've had an engraving on it. I had to put the engraving on it because I would have sold it because I'm just such a, a flipper. I I can't help myself. I've got I've got a mental condition. I'm not a hundred percent. I'm not a hundred percent. Did you know that, Clyde? You may have mentioned that a few times. What do you think of it? Give it give it a score out of ten. I would give this nine. Let me tell you what I think. I, I think it's nine because the dial is beautiful. The size is perfect. The deployment buckle is perfect. Uh, I love the way the strap fits on. The strap is perfect. It's better than a Patek strap, actually. Uh, I've got an original alligator. I love gator, you know. Uh, original black shiny alligator strap on it. I love this watch. Manual wind, eight-day power reserve, display back. This watch is perfection to me. Um, and what's, I don't care. And what does what does the reverse part show? It shows the movement, the beautiful movement. When you flip it, it shows the movement. It, 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 it's a, just a piece of horterology. Whereas every other watch, you just take it off and look at the back. Yeah, it just, it's just a cool concept. The reverso is so – I had a Cartier Basculin, which tried to do the same thing, but it was very messy, just – this watch I love. I love this watch. I love this watch. I will never sell it. I love this watch. I love this watch, Clyde. And I got to tell you, in all honesty, I could have bought a two-tone bluesy at the same time for the same money when I bought this, but I don't give a shit. I don't care. I'm not an investor. I'm a lover. I'm a lover, not a not a dealer. Okay. Out of 10, I'd give this a 9. The only negative, what is the negative to this watch? I'll tell you. The steel is like chocolate. It's the softest steel I've ever seen in my life. It is a scratch magnet, um, but it, it, I, 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 that's the only negative. Yes, the bluesy. Thank you, Clyde. Put that away, please. Uh, one more time, Clyde. One more time. Please do that one more time. Thank you, Clyde. Okay. Oh, actually. Thank you. Uh, whoops. No, I did it the right way. Yes. Yeah, no, you did. You did it, Clyde. I'd give this nine out of ten. I love this watch. I love this watch more than anything. I love this watch. Okay, I love this watch. I really do love it. This says I'm a serious watch collector. This sorts the wheat from the chaff. 
This is I don't beautiful. know how well. I love it. I love it. I love this watch so much. Okay. I love it. I love this watch. What do you think? Give me a score out of ten. What would you give me? For this? 7. What, what is it? Five. Seven point seven five. What's wrong with it? Doesn't have crown guards. Just hang on one tick. Someone's at the door. You stay there. You talk. Eh, it's kind of retro. It's kind of cool, I guess, in a way. But um, it's it's almost like an old fart ma old man's watch, basically, or someone trying to pretend that they have old school money and doesn't have a brass razzu. Um, you know, it doesn't have crown guards. You know, how can it represent Archie Luxury if it doesn't have crown guards? Um, you know what the fuck um, that was, Clyde? You know what the fuck that was? No idea. No idea. I because had a fucking you still Jehovah's Witness at the door. Did you film it? I just said to him, get the fuck off my... I said, I don't believe there's only 10,000 people go to heaven, just Jehovah's Witnesses. No blood transfusions. You got a tithe. Most They're evil. No one tithes for me. Why should I tithe for somebody else? That's because you haven't actually set yourself up as a church yet. Mm. And actually, don't people That's give on Patreon? That's when the next Patreon I love my Patreon. Now, Clyde, what do you think of this reverser? Seriously, do you love the Gillishay dial? It's classy. It's This is the most beautiful wristwatch. Tell me, tell me. I have to. Th I, I have to think about it. I mean, some some people actually think before they talk. In, 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 in a way, I, in a way, I kind of what. In a way, I kind of like their old school retro part of it. Um, Art Deco, Clyde. It's called. This is nineteen thirties Empire State Building. Think of that. You mean made by America? So it's American made. No, this is Swiss, but it's. It was made for British officers playing polo in India. How much better can you get than that? <laughs> Come on, I think, be, I, mean, I, think, I think it'd be a good secondary piece. I think it would be something just different. I love this something, watch. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It, it is it perfection. Do you understand that, Clyde? It is simple perfection. Why did you have it engraved? Because I'm a flipper. I sell everything. I'm just desperate. I'm just, I got an illness in my head. I need to sell things. I don't know what's wrong with me, Clyde. I'm not 100%. I have psychiatric problems. I have mental illness, okay? Have you seen a doctor for the mental illness? I can't afford it, Clyde. It's expensive. Do you know what those suckers charge you? They're worse than you, parasitic lawyers. Now, like I said, here in America, at least we have needs-based mental health. I mean, you don't have, you don't own any firearms, right? No, we're not allowed okay, to. Okay. Well, I could kind of see the wisdom of that in a lot of ways, but anyway, back to the point. Um, nice secondary part. Um, I'm trying to decide. I kind of, I, in a way, I kind of like the way the the power reserve and the seconds hand almost kind of balances each other out. Yes. Um. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, like I said, I I do kind of like the old style look to it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Clyde. I really do appreciate it. Okay, now let's let's talk about the next piece. Okay, next piece. Okay, so that you only gave it a seven, but that's disappointing. Seven point seven five. What's wrong with it? What's seven. wrong with it? What's wrong with it? No crown guards. <laughs> How does it it's represent the product? I like sports watch with no crown guards. The dress watches need crown guards. Sports watches do not. This is a sports watch because it was made for polo players. Okay. British officers playing polo. That's the ultimate sports watch. Are you British? No. Are you a polo I got a player? British passport. I got a British passport. But you're an Aussie. I got a British passport. I'm not nothing, Clyde. I would Aussie. not. I love this watch, Clyde. 
Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Yeah, it's, a, it's a nice watch. It would be a nice secondary watch. I agree. Nice secondary watch. Now, let's talk about first tier watches, okay? Because you seem to be missing the point a bit. Okay. So I'm going to bring up the, the greatest sports watch of all time, Clyde. And no, it's not a stinking, stupid Rolex. Here we go. What do you think? Man on the moon! Man on the moon! NASA certified for space flights. Tell me what you think. I may have given you an exemption, but that was trying. I was I was just being mean to you because if you had any balls, you'd buy one anyhow. But this watch is the greatest chronograph of all time. This is the greatest chronograph of all time, Clyde. It ain't no shitter. Need, it ain't no shitter. Why do you need a chronograph? You need a chronograph for all sorts of things. Parking the car, cooking a steak, going to bordellos. Wouldn't a timer like say on a, wouldn't a timer be just as be good or that or better? Do you really need split second accuracy? Actually, a, a Submariner would almost work better for those tasks. Uh, Speedy's cooler. It's been to moon, been to the moon. What do you think? Tell me what you think. Too busy. I mean, like and like you said, it's just this watch. Eight and a half, eight and a half, and you know why I've taken points off because it doesn't have the three two one movement. If it had the three two one movement, it'd be ten. This watch the here is the greatest. This uses a one eight six one eight six one movement, which is a cams lever chronograph, not a column wheel. The three two one is a column wheel chronograph. And we all know column wheel and vertical clutch chronographs are the way to go. We just know it because Patek does it. Vacheron does it. AP does it. Actually, AP does a few nasty things because they're nasty. But what I'm trying to say to you, Clyde, is this is the greatest chronograph for lay people to have. I love this watch. I cannot live without this watch. You know that? You can't live without any of the watches. I know. What do you think of it? Tell me what you think. The dial is beautiful to Speedmaster. Man on the moon. Man on the moon. Eh. That's all right. Out of 10, this is just perfection. Absolute perfection. If I had the 3 2 1 movement, it'd be 10. But because I've got the 1 8 6 1 movement, this is a 8.5. Beautiful piece. I love this watch. Men have worn this to die for their country. You know that or not? The only time that anyone in the space program other than the space shuttle has died was Apollo 10. So are you saying people wore this, the three astronauts, during the Apollo 10 program? Uh, no, mishap? they wore it in Vietnam. Soldiers wore this watch. Soldiers wore all sorts of watches in Vietnam. That's right. They wore Hamiltons. They also wore Rolex. Colonel Kuntz. <laughs> Clyde, this is the greatest chronograph of all time, and you don't have one. That's the best thing about it. That actually reminds me. I've been trying to get in touch with Tom Stafford, asking about my great aunt but never mind that's beside, that's beside the point that actually has reminded me of uh, trying to contact tell me, him tell that. me tell me what you think what do you think tell me think of this watch how can it's it really perfection. represent this it, is the okay sports but it's not really time. a sports watch it's a timer it's a sports watch clyde what kind of sport do you have to know fractions of a second <laughs> What do you mean by that? 
Oh, I thought racing, racing, what? driving. Okay, well, all right. Fine. High driving. jump. Driving long, is technically long distance fuck. running. This is a well, great. Well, fuck it. If the Mill Goss is a sports watch, I guess that can be a sports watch. Um, it's beautiful. Not bad. Not bad. Perfection. Manual wind. I love it, don't you? Uh, the decent. reverso was manual wind. Eight day power reserve, big boy. How big is the how much is the power reserve on that one? Uh, about forty eight hours. Forty one hours. So let's see, the reversal is a 7.75 with an eight-day power reserve. That's a two-day power reserve. So I guess a 3.85, just because it has half the power reserve. It means you have to wind it more often. It's yeah, more of an that's right. It's got a yin and a yang. It gets you tied in. It powers from your effort. Do you understand? Right. It connects with you as a person. Do you understand that or you don't understand this? Yeah, I do. What's the, what's the difference between uh, ignorance and apathy? Tell me. I don't know and I don't care. <laughs> I like your smart-ass lawyer answers, you know that. As long as I'm not being billed for it, that's fine. So I love this watch more than I just love it. I could look at this dial for hours on end and talk about it in an endless live show for hours, you know that? Probably. Okay, next one, Clyde. Let's go to the next one, next one, next piece I want to talk to you about. Next piece I really do love is the... De 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 de. You know what it's going to be, don't you? Well, it's got to be the IWC Immature or the Poor Explorer. Da, 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 da. Polar, polar. What do you think, Clyde? Tell me this now. Polar not explore. only is this the greatest sports watch of all time, white dial, solid end links, no holes case, super loom dial. What more do you want? Black dial. You reckon the black dial is better? Yeah, I really do. No, Clyde, let me tell you, I'm trying to balance my collection. I got to have a sports watch which has a white dial because two of my sports watches are black dials. My Omega Speedmaster is black dial and my Inji is darky blue black dial. So I need a white dial sports watch just to tell the world to go and jerk off. Okay, mix, I mean... Number one is it is exceptional value, even though. Oh, even it though is. Think, it is. It is. It is. But your knowledge is a little bit out of date. Everywhere around me, the values on them are going up. Um, I think they've gone up probably fifteen hundred dollars in my neck of the woods. I won six and a half Aussie for mine. I wasn't going to sell it for free, Clyde. Well, Polly, no, that makes you sound Italian. I don't want to make you sound cooler than you are. Um, well, I, I will call you Polly, but you have to put on a tracksuit. Will okay. you put on a tracksuit for me? A tracksuit, yes, I'll find yeah. one. What and do you think? Also, this watch is so cool. This watch is so cool, Clyde. Now, you remember you sent me that stupid yes. picture of that Pepsi. The Pepsi is supposed to have the same type of crown as this. That's what I was saying to you. The crown looked wrong on that watch you sent me the picture right. of the other day. It looked like a sub-crown. When they're not supposed to have a sub-crown, it's supposed to have the same crown as the Explorer 2. Well, also they made they made that reference for a while, and I've also read that uh, the older ones had the thinner crowns like that one, and then the newer ones. Anyway, screw it. Oh, they had I, the bigger crown. Is that right? Tell me something. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Were they that bigger? Well, I'd have to I'd have to pull the picture and pull it out next to it. So okay, I'm sorry. That's just hand, a, I could be wrong. I can be wrong. I'm, I'm not the expert on life. I'm I suffer depression. I have huge financial problems. I just think Life. the Explorer 2, no if, you're going to have, if you're going to have a Rolex, don't you think this is a great Rolex to have? Not if it's your only Rolex. Why is that? Why the fuck do you say that, you loud-mouthed hick lawyer? 
Tell me why you would say that to me. What the fuck? Why wouldn't this be the only? I reckon well, this. Let I... me tell you this, big boy. Let me tell you this, right? I had a huge Rolex. I had a Rolex collection in the 90s. I went broke. I was going bankrupt. I had big finance. You know, the last Rolex I sold was my Explorer. That was the most perfect one. I love that. I sold my president. I sold my two tone date just first, then then my president, then my sub, then the polar. Why isn't this? I love it. It's just beautiful. I love the steel bezel. You don't like the steel bezel? Explain it to me, big boy. Well, okay. It's no. What I'm saying it's it's a perfectly fine Rolex. It has a lot of things going to it. And number one, it's good value, even though it's not as good of a value as it used to be. On the other hand, if you're going to pay, if you're going to buy new or nearly new and pay, there's you would be an idiot to buy that for the same price as you would at GMT. It has what I like about it. It's almost like goes back. It's it's got one foot in the past because it's like the original tool watches by Rolex. When in turn, before they were luxury items. They were just damn good watches. Yes. They were expensive. They didn't have to go, oh, expensive because they were damn, they were well made, well designed, and well executed. Not because they're status symbols. Um, in Mercedes, before they became luxury symbols, they were cost more because they were damn good cars. And so, in a lot of ways, that it that almost has a foot in the past. It's almost like it's probably the most closest thing. Rolex ha still ha or has to a tool watch of the days of yore. Let me see. When you think about it, because it's it's more it emphasizes function more than flash. I see. Okay, I that see what looks, you're saying. Yeah. So I mean, I guess I guess if you look at it that way, maybe maybe now that I think about it a little bit more. See, the thing is, if, if you're going to have one Rolex, one one to represent the entire Rolex line, I was thinking, well, this is a piss-poor choice because it's not really iconic at all. It's iconic to me, big boy. Well, but when you think about it, if you if that almost, if it almost goes back... Let me tell you the story, big boy. Let me tell you the story, you corrupt, you corrupt Midwest judge. I would say that in, if not I was a... a judge. I, uh, but uh, you remind me like the Sheriff Lobo in, in, um, I tell you this now, let me say this BJ to you. BJ and the Bear? Okay? Yeah, BJ, BJ the I bear. love BJ and the Bear, did you? No, I was, no, not really. I'm aware of it culturally because, I mean, having to watch it because we only had one television. I love this that like, Kenworth uh, he drove, that Kenworth. Beep, beep, 18 wheeler. That was a beautiful truck he had. Kenworth. Anyway, the Polar Explorer. That was before they sold out to the Europeans. You know, that Mac is Kenworth. Actually, Kenworth is still owned by Kenworth. Look, what I'm saying to you is, Clyde, this watch is the greatest Rolex there is. I had a stage where what watch could I, if I could afford a watch, remember I bought the first Rolex I bought was an Explorer 1. I said to my friend, get me the cheapest Rolex you can. He got me a 1016 Explorer 1. If I had have had money at the time, I reckon I would have got an Explorer 2. It's so cool. White dial. But how, how, why an Explorer 2 over any other? Let me throw this back on you, Pontiff. Why Explorer 2, two over any other Rolex? Why because, this one in particular? Okay, it has to be steel. It has to be sports steel, okay? But this one here is special because I like the fixed bezel the fixed bezel separates it from the chaff the, the chaff? fixed bezel it's too hard can you read a 24 see that's a 24 hour hand you know that's it goes around once every 24 hours that's impossible right. to read on a rotating bezel so you're saying that that is a better representative of the entire rolex line over that yes and in fact, I summer. sold my I sold my no date sub to buy this Explorer two. I'd no, I'd say, I mean, I'd say the iconic Rolex obviously has to be a Submariner for the sports line, 
or I'd even argue a two-tone J. I know it's a little tired of a cliche, but I'd say a two-tone J dress for Rolex. No, but that's for fat, middle-aged people to wear. We're cool. We're cool exactly. hipsters. We're cool hipsters. No, no, we're not. No, we're not. You made that point in the other video. I'm, I'm a Midwestern lawyer. You're, un you're unemployed. So, it's not... I, I just... And, the, and that's that's how the collection's unbalanced because you have the nicest Patek. The I think the Patek overshadows everything else, and it it's going to be hard. I love, I love that watch more than. I love that watch more than anything. I love now, that me, watch, but I I must tell you, Clyde, the Explorer Two makes me proud to be an American. A Swiss watch makes you proud to be an American. That's right. This is a great watch. This, Wouldn't this watch the Pepsi, is the Pepsi Two, which should make you prouder to be American because it's red, white, and blue. I love the Explorer line. Okay, I just love it. I think it's just Steve McQueen had the plastic orange hand. He never wore it, but it became known as the Steve McQueen. Right. Steve McQueen. Um, look, I tell you honestly, I think the Explorer 2, I just think it's, I love the this watch. I, hate, I love the fact that no one likes it, okay? That's the best thing about it because people are morons. People are fools, okay? People don't want to lend people money when they're obviously superior people. Exactly. Actually, I don't need to lend no, money. We could go on this losers. debate again. I told we those losers. I told those losers just to fuck off. I said, "Look, you're full of shit. Just stop your lies to me because I'm sick of it." Out of ten, I would give this watch here. Let me give you a score out of ten. You know what? I'd give this out of ten. What? Nine. This is the most perfect Rolex of all time. The bezel, it's steel sports. It needs to be a steel sports Rolex. It needs to have a fixed bezel. Why a fixed bezel over a rotating one? Because it doesn't need to turn. Doesn't need to turn. These aren't fidget spinners we're playing with. These are luxury timepieces. Do you understand or you don't? What's a fidget spinner? Okay, just Google it later, okay? They're a real trendy thing at the moment, but these are the greatest wristwatches of all. This is just perfection. I love this watch. I, this could be a one watch. That's it. Rolex Explorer 2 Polar. I want the solid end link so it's not a rattlesnake. I want the no holes case, and I want the super loom. That's it. Perfect. Got it. Done. Box ticked. This is a nine. What do you give it? Give, give me a score out of ten. Come on, big boy. Four. Why do you say four? What the hell's wrong with you? It is. I mean, it is, it is the least popular. Who cares about? What, since when have people been smart? They they voted for George W. Bush. Okay, good point. Since when has popularity been a sign of success? People are sheep. Actually, don't you? Aren't you? A, aren't you a defense attorney? Yes. Don't you see the stupidity of the human race every day of the week? I really no. I'm never. Never mind. I'm gonna hold back. Don't um, they? Don't you think that these people could represent themselves for no fee? If they, no, they really can't. Don't you see that all you're really doing is providing answers, which they could probably do themselves if they weren't smoking crack so much. You know, crack is so yesterday. Crack is so like 2006. It's meth, and now especially heroin is the new popular one, opioids. Well, if they had any brains, they could represent themselves and avoid paying you anything. 
Oh yeah. I'm yeah. Because we just played with fidget spinners in, in law school for three years. That's right. And they, they're scared of, they're all pussies. They're scared of going to jail. Oh, is it so bad in the Oklahoma big house? Yeah, it really is. <laughs> we can't even fucking execute people properly. It's a goddamn mess every time we try to pit someone down. Okay. They can hire veterinarians in the Oklahoma prison system and probably do a better job with capital punishment. Okay, can I... But that's... Now that you've scared the shit out of me, I want to I wanna tell you this. You are wrong. You are morally bankrupt. You are no... No... Cri your criticism of the Explorer 2 is very offensive. This is well, the greatest you. sports watch of all a, time. If there's an expert in being offensive, definitely you. What the hell? Why do you give it a four? What the fuck's wrong with it? What the hell is wrong with it? The only thing I can see wrong with this watch is the class kind of sucks compared to the new Rolexes. But other than that, this watch is absolute perfection. Well, no, I even think your explanation. I think I think I had a better explanation of why it would stand in for the Rolex line than you did. Because simply the fact that it would, it's more. Uh, based in the past of Rolex, it is the Rolex uh, of days of yore, where it was a re robust, reliable tool watch rather than rather than a glamour girl like the GMT. Now that would be that would be the explanation, I think. Don't you? Okay, let's just drop it. You're giving it a four out of ten. Uh, and I have the watch. I like the watch. What do you? What, what's wrong with it? What the hell is wrong with it? Four is not good. What? What the hell are, what are you talking about? If no, if that is a flaw in the collection criteria. Uh, yeah. If you're gonna, I mean, to stand in for the entire Rolex line. Mm. Yes, this is my one piece. I told you the rules to start with, big boy. One brand, one piece. I think um, I think Rolex is ill served by this being the sole representative. Okay, uh, you, you've spoken your bit. I don't agree with you, so that's fine. Okay, okay. and like I, I said, I've your, got my. I find I your comments myself. highly offensive. Highly. Thank offensive. you. Okay, now we're looking at the last piece. This is one of your favorite pieces of all time. This is one of your favorite pieces, okay? Okay. I'm just bringing it up. You know the one. you just going to tell me what's wrong with this. We're on a downhill spiry. There we go. The Inji! Ah, my eyes! My eyes! My eyes! My eyes! No. Um. This is like an AP at a poor man's price. This watch is perfect. And it's kind of an oddball. The and I'm going to listen to a Midwest lawyer tell me it sucks. Um, Get with. You've got the nice. You've got one of the nicest Pateks, and you've got substandard. And in, in, in the in jail. Scene. Well, are they here a compliment? I got one of the nicest Pateks. You weren't saying that when we were talking about that baby. But I was using your own logic against you. According to your own logic, according to your own rules, the Patek is the nicest one out there. It's coming from someone who's had extensive experience with them. Mm. The JLC Reverso, Reverso Grandate, is one of the, is the nicest, the epitome of the JLC line, is it not? Now, I want to ask you this, Clyde. Tell me this. You don't like this NG. That's fine. What did you give it out of 10? I would give this watch a 7. Portuguese or a big pilot, I think, would be a better representative of IWC. It's whatever I like. I think the ingenuer. Unbalanced. Well, you got to understand. The paddock is my horology fuck off piece. The reverso is the best ultimate dress watch of all time. And the IWC is the. Master is the greatest sports watch of all time. The Explorer 2 is the greatest Rolex steel sports stunner. This is an everyday work watch. I could go into an office. I could book a car. That's, 
I could book a bordello. I could stand trial with this watch proudly on my wrist. Well, I could it answer. Well, I, I don't know. I guess when you think about it, maybe it has something to do. Maybe it kind of balances the collection out because the it's a work watch. It's an everyday work watch. You go in there. No one. No, it's not a Rolex. Rolex. It's not a Rolex. It's not a Rolex. It's an no, IWC. See, the, the, Schaffenhausen. You know where the hell does. Schaffenhausen is? Ger uh, Southern Germany, I believe. Yeah, it's at the border between Switzerland and Germany. Because we know that a lot of good things came out of the border between southern Germany and Austria. That's right. The but second most does, famous I... the second most famous Austrian, for example. Bruno! Bruno! Second most famous Austrian of all time. Bruno. You know Bruno? You never saw the movie? Oh, that's that's so two thousand. Okay, yeah, I, I saw it. I, I I liked Ali G better, quite frankly. Oh, uh, Bruno was like tertiary character. Um, oh, jeez, I can't think of the. Uh, I can't Borat. think of the cast. Borat. 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 Well, it does. Okay, it does kind of make sense with the collection. Do you want to know why? Why is that? The Patek is the fuck you watch. The yes. IWC is the fuck me watch. Yes. I mean, it's all right. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's better heavy. than all it's, right. This is fantastic. Look at that dial. Rolex doesn't do shit like that. They're lazy. Rolex is lazy. Does the second hand look like an look like a lightning bolt? Emphasizing the magnetic quality of the of the watch. Ah, it's gimmicky. It's gimmicky. Needless gimmicky. Uh, needless gimmicky. Um, and and like I said, the. The Milgoss is um, actually has. Tw I think it has twice the magnetic resistance because Rolex. No, they've right. got the same magnetic resistance. I thought you said that has like five hundred gauss. That's a. That's a, it, it, It's it's a hundred. I think a, a thousand. It's the same as the Rolex. Okay. Well, yeah, okay, that's, that's interesting. Cause and it's no ugly cyclops. You don't mention that, Clyde, do you? Oh, look at this watch. No ugly cyclops. You don't mention. Oh, you just don't even mention that. What the hell? What? You look at that. No ugly cyclops. Do you see that? No one says that, do they? Well, and unlike the Sea Dweller, which also doesn't have a cyclops, the nice thing about the Sea Dweller is that the date window is roughly the same size as the 9 o'clock indice. But not really, not really with the IWC. Clyde, the reason, yeah, this watch here is the greatest. I love. I could make this a one watch. I could just have this. I'd be happy. Why don't you have it engraved then? Uh, there's no room on the back. It's got an IWC logo on the back. Hmm. It's not that okay. sort of watch. I love this watch, you know? You well, know what the best the thing about it? You know the best thing about this IWC is? It's not a damn Rolex. Okay. Rolex sucks. Do you understand that, Clyde? At the end of the day, it sucks. Okay? okay. It really does suck. How many people? How many times have you been people to get, told people to get Rolex? Rolex still sports stunners. Rolex still sports stunners. That's because they're sheeple. They just they don't they can't think for themselves. You know this. Mm. People are nasty. You know this, or you don't know this. Oh, I know that perfectly well. Go to go to a few gel cells, and you'll see how nasty people can really be. How nasty are they there? Oh, they're pretty goddamn nasty. Like vicious or what? Vis uh, vicious, dirty, smelly. Um, if you like is the smell their own of... Choice? Is that their own choice? They stink? Or, or is it the prison system that makes them stink? Uh, the prison system, basically. Inadequate. I mean, you know, you don't want to spend too much time in the shower. Why is that? Soap in a rope, dude. 
Yes. No, is okay, it that no, bad? Is it that bad or not? It is that. It, it is that bad. Yes. Why don't they look after their inmates with a degree of humanity? I can't remember who it said that the only yardstick of a society, the only true yardstick of a society, is how it treats its uh, most vulnerable citizens. But it's a damning indictment of the American judicial system. What does it say? But, uh, anyway, um, it says the American I legal system or judicial or prison system is like the IWC of prison systems. And what do you do? You just say to them, I will represent you as much as you put money in. You don't give a shit about the convicts, about their crimes of desperation. I a lot of times with my clients, Archie, I can't sleep. I had trouble sleeping because I had a couple of big hearings. Hmm. And also I was worrying I wasn't going to get it. I hope you build them for that. I hope you build them for that. Well, you can't build them for not sleeping, unfortunately. God knows I fucking tried. Anyway, but yeah, but the thing is, I mean, is the, it my... Uh, NG, what do you think of that NG? Is that NG beautiful or not? It's the greatest watch of all time. That is the most beautiful watch Okay. Out of 10, I'd give it a 7. And it's one of those things that might look different in the flesh. There are watches. There are watches. I don't you care don't like how it, good of do a... You. you don't like it, do you? You don't like it, it do you? You're telling me you don't like it. It doesn't tickle my fancy. It, to me, it's meh. Completely meh. I mean, I'm sure it's a great watch. But would I look I at it? What to say to you, Clyde? Disappointed, Clyde. You know that. Very disappointed with your disappointed with your comments here, Clyde. Okay. Well, um, sorry. I actually tell me what you think of the balance of my collection. What's the balance like? The Archie Five. What's the balance like? What's the balance like? Well, it is extremely unbalanced and very irrational. Whoa! Why do you say this, Clyde? Because it represents its owner. Unbalanced <laughs> and irrational. Yes, so actually, yes, it, is the perfect, yes. it is kind of the perfect collection, is it not? My, my collection is boring and stolid and probably a little overweight. Yeah, but, very you know, overweight. Very overweight. All you do is collect Rolexes. It doesn't that bore the shit out I of you. Have, I've got a Panerai. I've got a Panerai. And you got that stupid Cigna bullshit. Um, actually, I'd say it's the finest solid gold watch that five hundred dollars could buy. That's it's, not something to brag about, Clyde. It's a you know, it's it's actually called humor. You know, Why did you buy that? Can I ask you that? Why did you buy that piece of shit? Uh, FEF movement. And I've just, like I said, there's just something about it. It's almost, I guess maybe it's so unpopular. It, Clyde, it, tell I, me I, this. I, I, I My like, collection, out of, out of 10, what would you give the collection? Give me, give me a collection. Probably an 8.5. 8.5? Well, you can't give me compliments, Clyde. You're supposed to criticize the shit out of me. That's not what you're on this channel for. Well, no I mean, again, licking, again because, because, the, because a collection is supposed to represent the owner. Really, when it comes right down to it. So it's kind of irrational. It's kind of imbalanced. So therefore, as the perfect embodiment... It's out of control. Out of control. Out, out of, of its mind. Exactly. Do you think I need more watches? Is five enough to represent? Or do I need six, seven, eight, nine? How many do I, damn, do I need? Well, let me give you, okay, I'll give you my PayPal account. How many do I need? <clears throat> I'd say, I mean, no date sub. I was going to get a Panerai if I was going to get a Diver. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, okay. But, well, Okay, let's I talk about that. What should I add to it? I was thinking about a PAM 111. PAM 112. What about a PAM 510? Um, yeah. I'd have to look it up. There's several reference you know, numbers. What is the, what the is PAM 111? It's, it's, it's a PAM 111 with an in-house movement in it. Why Does would that you make sense? To... No, it doesn't make sense. The panorama... That's what it is. It looks like a... The, pe the Panerai movements are relatively untested compared to the ETAs. Um, I've heard all sorts of horror stories online about people, Panerai service centers, especially online taxes, fucking watches up with a good ETA movement well, and a manual wind. Mm. You, so you can get a PAM 510 for about four and a half to 5,000 US. Okay. Whereas a PAM 111. Ah, uh, you can get one of those low. Oh, same price. What would you rather do, Clyde? Tell me, what would you do? Go ETA one, 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 or non-ETA? What? ETA, all the way. Don't be gay. You can get one for about four grand, four thousand US. That's not terrible, is it? No, it's not horrible. I got a well, you know, I don't. I lucked it. I lucked out like a fucking bandit. But yeah, no, it's not. It's not bad. Um, oh, I was, wanting to remind, I was wanting to ask you, can you source me a solid gold Panerai Luminar for $3,500? I wish I could, Clyde. Um, and like I said, I, I, I like the 112 because it doesn't have the second hand. It's more, it's closer to the original historic Panerais. Not to mention the little thing of the nine, that's just fucking annoying. Why do you say that? I mean, I, I have thought about a 112 before because I do like... I love that second hand at the 9. I reckon that's so cool. Don't you? No. Too, I, I guess it's just too unconventional. To me, it just... It, uh, it almost looks like a propeller beating going, wee, 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 wee. I see. Yeah. Um, I, do, I do like the, the 111 and the 112, though. I... I do. I would. I mind a if I could find a really, really good deal. Well, shit. No, I can't really. I can't justify it. I do like the sandwich loom, though. Mm -hmm. the, the only the only bad thing about the uh, about the zero, which I I mean, which I don't like, is I wish it. I wish it had a sandwich dial rather than a sausage dial. But you can't have. They specifically make it to where you can't have everything you want. I um, I don't like the exhibition case backs. On the 111 and the 112, I don't think they're that astounding. They're ETA movements. Who gives a fuck if you can see the back of it or not? To me, Ooh, it's that's a bit mean, Clyde. No, it, stay. I mean, stay close to histor historical roots. Fool! I don't yeah. know what to say to you. What's wrong with the second hand at the nine position? I think that's so cool, don't you? Maybe I'm too conventional. Maybe I have too mm. much of an. Uh, maybe I have too much of an accountant or a lawyer sense. Well, definitely a lawyer sensibility. But to me, that's like I said. It's it's almost like a propeller beating going round and round. Fair enough, Clyde. I understand. Off, it throws off the balance of the watch. Clyde, I'm going to end this now. It's been great talking to you. Likewise. It's kind of, I think there's more NVCs out there than you realize. More what, sorry? Nasty final. Oh, okay, yes, yes. Thank you, Clyde. I'm keeping my collection. That's it. I don't care anymore. Nothing matters to me in life. Um, Not even the paddock? I'm taking that, that to heaven. I'm wearing my Patek, you know that? I am actually wearing my Patek Philippe. It's a grand classique from Patek Philippe. You know that, Clyde? Yep. Thank you for your time, and um, we'll chat later. Awesome. Have a good weekend, Pontiff. Thank you very much. See you later.